Wagyu means Japanese cow. Wa is Japan. Gyu is cow. Wagyu must be these four cattles. Otherwise, it can be called Wagyu. 90% of Japanese Wagyu in the market is Japanese black. You cannot talk about Japanese beef without Tajima beef. There's an area called Tajima in northern part of Hyogo Prefecture in Japan. Mid 1900s, there was one bull called Tajiri. 99.9% .9 of Japanese Wagyu has bloodline from Tajiri. He lives from 1939 to 1954. And he did 1,500 times of natural fertilization. Tajiri had strong heritability and high meat quality. Tajiri was miracle kettle last 1,000 years in Japanese kettle history. So, how can Tajima beef become another name of Wagyu? Let's take Kobe beef as an example. There are very strict rules for calling Kobe beef. The calf must be Tajima calf. The registered member of Kobe council can only raise this. The kettle must be heifers or stairs. Meat quality grade, which is the beef marbling standard, must be more than six. Yield grade must be A or B. The rule is slightly different for each Wagyu area. There are many good Wagyu farms in Japan, but these are famous Wagyu brand. That meat quality is decided by marbling, color of the fat, and color of the meat. Here is Japanese meat marble score scale, called beef marbling standard, BMS. Higher score is more marble, and lower score is less marble. Also, there are fat color scale and meat color scale. White fat is high quality and bright color of the meat is also high quality. Based on this result, the meat quality is decided. The letter related to how much meat on the cow and eight is highest. The number rating is related the marbling quality and five is highest quality. So a5 is the best. The bloodline is 80% of making high quality beef. No matter how you raise an unqualified cow, the meat will not be marbling. The other 20% are feeding, environment, and monitoring health of the cow. Food is not only high-protein food. It is important to balance nutrition with other foods. Basically, the food formulation is a top secret for each Wagyu farm area. The environment is important too, and the farmer are creating an environment that does not stress the cows. It is also important to manage the health of the cow. Especially, infectious disease can be affected to other cows. So, health management is monitored 24 hours a day. Not all cows are suitable to make high-quality meat if they have a bloodline. They must be heifers with never giving birth or steers. When a cow is first born, they stay at the breeding farm to build strong bone and healthy body to be wagyu. 
The cow stays for eight months and will be transferred to farming farm after this. The cow spend about 24 months at the farming farm and then goes to auction. The cow is strictly tested by the meat association and graded as I mentioned it before. Wagyu is not cheap, of course. Highest price is Wagyu was $370,000 US dollars in 2002. Well, you can probably buy the apartment. Wagyu fat contains a lot of unsaturated fatty acid. The unsaturated fatty acid is reducing LDL, which is low density lipoprotein cholesterol, and increasing HLD, which is high density lipoprotein cholesterol, which is great. So, I could say Wagyu is healthy. There is another character of unsaturated fatty acid. It has a lower melting point than saturated fatty acid. Holstein beef, 30.2 degrees. Normal beef, 25.9 degrees. Wagyu beef is only 17.4 degrees. That is why many people say Wagyu beef is melted in their mouth. Wagyu farmer treats cow like a family and raises them with natural feeding. That is why every single cow has own name. Wagyu farmer gives cow maximum appreciation and expression of love. Thank you for watching this lecture video today. I hope this video helps to improve the knowledge of Wagyu. Alright, see you at next video. Bye-bye.